Come with us to a beautiful place where you're only three steps away from a lovely prize. Oh, did we mention? If you lose, you get eaten! <laughs> Go wild, go crazy, go as wild and crazy as your host, Scratch and Sniff! Hello, hello, and welcome once again to Scratch and Sniff's Den of Doom! <laughs> it's the game show where you're playing to save yourself from a drop into our cooking pot of peril! <laughs> <laughs> that is the fate that awaits all today's contestants. Unless, of course, they're sharp as a pin, in which case they can stitch up their mates to survive. But if they're as blunt as your bottom, I then they're going to end up in our bellies. <laughs> <laughs> Who's tough enough to take on the challenge? Playing for their lives today are... Men of Doom. The first of our snacks today is called Kezia. She says that one of her hobbies is meeting new people. Oh, whereas we like eating new people. Then we have Madeline, whose nickname is Moo Moo. <laughs> hey, Scratch has got a nickname too, Poodle Breath. No, no, you promise not to tell. Our next little jobby is Bobby, who once fell off his chair at school. Yeah? Well, hopefully he'll be falling off something a lot higher soon. <laughs> <laughs> Then there's Lothair. He reckons he's scared of man-eating bugs. I wonder how he feels about child-eating hyenas. And finally, here's another one of our hyena snacks, and her name is Chloe, who's a big fan of tap dancing. Yeah, I hope she's not wearing her tap shoes today. They might get stuck in my throat. <laughs> So, there are five players trying to save their skins and leave the Den of Doom alive. Take him with them. That ultimate prize... What, the, the gift of life? No sniff, something even better. The coveted Den of Doom Duda! <laughs> Den of Doom is the game where just three steps separate you from life and doom! Get a question wrong and you move one step closer to doom! <laughs> But get it right, and one of your friends takes a step closer to doom. Stop doing that. <laughs> Let the feast begin. Den of doom. Here we are. <laughs> right, oh, they're all waiting oh, well, for us, and yeah. um, we're going to choose one of you to start. Of course, yeah. let's call upon the dancing lights of luck. Oh, nicely done. Thank you. Madeline, it's you. Wait, that's, that's too formal. It's a bit formal. Maddie, Maddie it's yeah. you. I, that's still too that's formal. That's too formal. Mad! They're, no, longer, longer. Longer, longer, longer again. Maddie, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Jolly good, because we're about to play. Round, Round one. one. Maddie, what is the typical temperature of a fart? Is it 37 degrees? Or 87 degrees? Is it 37 degrees? Yeah, I go for the lower every time. 37 degrees is the right answer. Nominate someone. I'm going to nominate Lothair. Lothair, yeah? 37 degrees, full of Lothair. <laughs> what? Pardon? Why have you nominated him, Maddie? Because he's standing in my way of winning. <laughs> it's not in your ways, over it? I see what you mean. A... see what you mean. Tactical play already. Oh, I'm with you. Sorry, I'm yeah. a little bit slow-witted. Well, there we go, Lothair. Take a pace forwards. Nicely done. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Come far today. Yeah. Where from? Essex. Essex. Nice down in Essex, mm. yeah. Do you play any sports? Yeah, I play football. Football, yeah. Anything else? Badminton. Badminton, and... yeah. And a bit of hockey. Bit of hockey, mm -hmm. good. Not, uh, not cricket, then? No, not cricket. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a shame. Yeah. Here's your question. Mm. What do crickets hear through? <laughs> their knees? Or their wings? Knees. You don't play cricket and you know that. You're right, mate, you're right. Nominate. I would like to nominate Chloe. 
Oh, Chloe, well, why are you nominating Chloe? She's a lovely girl. Because she's good at answering questions and I want to win. It's fair enough, fair enough. Chloe, take your step forward, please, sweetheart. OK, Lotte, here's your question. Lotte, what causes more accidents on the London Underground? Green grapes or banana skittles? <laughs> Banana skins. Did you leave that there? I'd say banana skins. Lots here. The answer's green grapes, not <laughs> banana skins. Take a step forwards. Thank you. All right, Chloe, how are you doing? All right, thanks. You all right? Got a bit of a sore throat, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, gonna be a bit sore all over by the end of today. <laughs> You might want to hold your nose for this next bit, Chloe. Take a guess at what you think this is. Listen. Oh, nothing's coming. Nothing's coming. That's strange, isn't it? A bit of a blockage. Hey, hang on. What's that, then? I... Oh! <laughs> You've never been able to digest vegetables, have you? <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> catch You're me, right. catch me. You're right. Oh, dear. Chloe, what do you reckon that was? Was it Rockabye Baby or Jack and Jill? Uh, I think Rockabye Baby. You're absolutely right, Chloe. Rockabye Baby is the right answer. Nominate. I'm going to nominate Kezia. Kezia, hey. all the way over there. You're alive. I'm okay. Oh, Not for long. That's a shame. <laughs> Kezia, step forward. Thank you. Kezia, here's your question. Do hyenas prefer cold showers or mud baths? I think the answer is mud baths. And you'd be right. Well done, Kezia. Nominate someone. I nominate Lotair. Lotair? Um, you know what's going to happen to you now, don't you? I feel bad, I feel bad about this. <laughs> Not very bad. Here, Lotair, take a step backwards. Now take two forwards. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he thought he, got, he, thought he got out of it. He thought he got out of it. Dead of doom. What's that? Is your question impossible? Listen very carefully. You've only got five seconds to answer, Lotte. You've got to get it right. OK? If you're living in England, why can't you officially be buried in Wales? Because you're English. That's a good answer, mm. but no. If you were to be buried in Wales whilst you were living in England, that'd be really breaking the law, cos you're not dead! No. But you are, Lotte! <laughs> Lotte! Not there! We've got one of you horrible kids in our pot, one down, hopefully four to go. Time to play Den of Doom, round two. Den of Doom. OK. Oh, stop everything. Where's Lotair? He's not there. Don't tell the police. <laughs> right then, who's going to go next? Let's ask the Dancing Lights of Luck. Are you ready, Miss KEZIA? I'm ready. It's round two. OK, Kezia, it's your question first, then. To see at night, as, as well as an owl, owl, you'd need eyeballs the size of what? Oranges or grapefruits? I'm guessing the answer is oranges. You'd be wrong, I'm afraid. <laughs> Even with your clever hair. No, I'm sorry. Step forward, Kezia. Are you all right, Maddie? I'm OK. What is the name for a group of rhinos? Is it a crash or a smash? Is it a crash? Mm. Well, it's a difficult one, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, I guess. No, it's not. That's the answer. Yeah, it's a crash. Nominate. Um, I'm going to nominate Bobby. Bobby? Why are you nominating Bobby, then? Because the same reason, he's standing in my way of winning, and I really, really don't like it. Well, at least you're consistent. Bobby, mate, take a step forward. OK. Listen up, Bobby, it's your question, too. Now, when carrots were first cultivated, were they purple 
Or were they? Stripey! Uh, I'm going to go for Stripey. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. You sure? Positive. They was purple. <laughs> <laughs> Take a step forward, loser. <laughs> hey, you know, I said I might need you to do a song. Well, you might have to do it now because I've got to go up there to see Chloe. Oh, yes. I'm blindfolded and everything, so I'm you understand. might have to feel. Even with me? Yeah, yeah. I'm capable. It's all right, I'm here. <laughs> you all right, Chloe? Yeah, I'm fine. Now then, this next part of the show is based on the fact that when I haven't had a chance to have my lunch today, I want you to take a guess at what you think's in my lunch box, all right? I'm going to flip open the lid and then you have a good lungful of it, all right? All right. Here we go. What do you reckon that is? Take a big sniff. Now, what do you reckon that is? Is that gravy and spiders on toast or locust pie? I reckon that's gravy and spiders on toast. Well, take your blindfold off and have a look. <gasps> you are absolutely right. It's gravy and spiders on toast. Scratch. Well done, Chloe. Nominate. I think I'm going to nominate Bobby. Why? Because he's getting a bit too scheming and I don't like schemes. As if I didn't know. Bobby, take a step forward. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Roberts. How are you? All right. High up, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a bit mad, I know. You're a bit mad, I tell you. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about being mad for much longer. Um, we're going to ask you a little question, OK? And maybe, just maybe, you might be able to save your life. Here it is. Bobby! Here's your question impossible. A man had nine sheep. <gasps> nine sheep? Nine <laughs> sheep! <laughs> All but nine died. Mm. How many sheep did he have left? Gotta hurry him. Zero. No! Nine! <laughs> <laughs> Legs of jelly fill my belly! So, that's two down and three to go. Dinner is shaping up nicely. But right now, it is time for you lot out there to stop picking your bums and get involved. It's... What's in your pants? We want to know what pesky little animal has found its way into Sniff's pants. Here is a clue. <laughs> this little creature is bright green, lives in trees, and if you kissed it, well, it might turn into a handsome prince. <laughs> oh, what could it be? <laughs> well, you'll soon find out in just a moment. You all right, Sniff? <laughs> Ten of Doom. Ten of Doom. How strange. I left it here somewhere. I just... Earlier on, I asked you what animal had found its way into Sniff's pants. Now. This little creature is bright green, green. lives in trees, green. and if you kissed it, it could turn into a handsome prince. I ain't kissing it. Show him. Oh. A slimy, crooking tree frog. <laughs> and on that ribbit note, back to the den of doom. It's touching my eye. I don't want to know that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> We stocked up our cooking pot with a couple of kids who have taken a tumble into the den of doom. <laughs> not here, not there. <laughs> Bobby, legs of jelly fill my belly. <laughs> but it could do with a few more kids to bring out the flavour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's play den of doom. Double. Dead of doom. I love this game show. I need someone to start. Yes. Let's call upon the dancing lights of luck. Bowie, it's you. We've chosen you. <laughs> you ready for this? I am. You realise that we're not going to drop just one of you in this round. We're going to drop two of you, because we're playing... Double Drop! 
Chloe. Cow sweat from their what? Noses? Noses? Or their ears? I'll go for our ears. Good. I was hoping you would. Also, Naswell. Well. Take a step forward. <laughs> <laughs> it's their noses, I'm afraid. It is. Kezia, here's your question. What's another name for your little finger? Is it Janus or Wainus? Mm, I think I'm going to go with Janus. Oh, what a shame. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> Take a step forward. Maddie, what used to be used instead of money? Salt or pepper? <laughs> Is it pepper? No, it's salt. You'd have known that if you was a Roman. <laughs> Take a step forwards. <laughs> All right, Chloe. Now, take a look at this postcard and see if you can see where our fuzzy ducks are this week. Are they at the Colosseum or the Leaning Tower of Pisa? I think the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Easy peasy, it's the Tower of Pisa. You're absolutely right. Who would you like to nominate? I'm going to have to go for Maddie. Oh, Maddie. Oh, why are you nominating Maddie? Because she might as well fall. Look where she is. Might That's as well. fair enough. A couple of steps away. Maddie, step forward. OK, Kezia, here's your question. What colour skin do polar bears have? Is it white or is it black? Um, I think I'm going to go for white. Yeah, most people would, actually, would, but I can you? tell you, because I am an animal, it is, in fact, black. So I'm sorry, you'll have to take... Sorry. A step forwards. <laughs> All right, Maddie, here's your next question. What is the name for a group of ants? Is it an army or a colony? Is it a colony? <sighs> He's absolutely right. Who do you want to nominate? I think I'm going to nominate Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Chloe, sweetheart, take a step forward. <laughs> They're all one step away from the drop zone. <laughs> Chloe, I'm going to ask you a question, and you're all for it now, remember? Here we go. Which sign of the zodiac is represented by a goat? Is it Capricorn or Aquarius? Um, Capricorn. It's the right answer. Kezia Maddy, Kezia Maddy. Want to use for the chop? Who's it to be then, Chloe? Um, I'm sorry, Maddy. <laughs> Madeline, take a step forward. <laughs> Madeline, you are definitely for the drop. You've just got to find one other, and it's between Kezia and Chloe. <laughs> So, Kezia, here's your question. <laughs> it all hangs in the balance for you. <laughs> How much water does an average drinking straw hold? Is it one and a half dessert spoons or one and a half tablespoons? I think it's one and a half tablespoons. Is that your final answer? Yes. Step onto the yeah. jar, Kezia! You've ruined it for yourself. <laughs> Of well, guys, you two turned out to be the dumbo ones, didn't you? Don't feel saddy, Maddie. Gretchen Snip, three words, I hate you! You are my dinner, Kezia. Goodbye! <laughs> Chloe, you've made it to the final of Den of Doom. You're just one question away from becoming a winner. Yeah, do you want to see the awards you might win? Yeah! yeah. Oh, don't don't leave never let go of a contestant. Never let go of a contestant. <laughs> hey, do you want to stick around for dinner? With you? No way, I'm out of here. Well, let's see, as we play the final of Den of Doom. OK, Chloe, here's your killer question, OK? Now, when you've got an answer, you have to go and stand on your chosen drop zone. 
are you feeling, Chloe? Excellent. Oh, excellent, yeah, yeah. Missing your mates? I'll live without them. You'll live without them? But will we live without you? Let's have your killer question. Chloe, which of these is a spice? Is it one? Parsley. Parsley. Two. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Three. Rosemary. Rosemary. Four. Dill. Dill. Or five. Thyme. Thyme. We're going to give you some time now. Ten seconds. Off you go, Chloe. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Chloe, you've chosen dill. Mm. <laughs> but is it the right answer? We're about to find out. I can tell you, it wasn't parsley. Banger! <laughs> oh! Neither was it time. <laughs> Could it have been rosemary? <laughs> That leaves only two more drop zones. Dill and nutmeg. One right, one wrong. Scratch! Put Chloe out of their misery. I can tell you now, Chloe, the correct answer was... D nutmeg! <laughs> She makes a lovely splash, don't she, Chloe? Yeah, yeah. Right, there we go. A pot full of losers. Yeah. No winners today. Yeah. Oh, except us, of course. Yeah! <laughs> if only she'd known the right answer was nutmeg. All the others were herbs. And, uh, hey, Chloe! All the others were herbs, darling! It's a bit late now! What? Yeah, I know it's a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> Today's show was brought to you by the letter... Ah! <laughs> You've been watching Scratch and Sniff's Den of Doom. We hope you've enjoyed the show and would just like to point out that no children are ever eaten during the making of the programme. No, that's right. Only before and after the show. <laughs> <laughs>